Hello everyone and welcome to my video about the new Demon Slayer game on Roblox. First things first, let's take a quick look at the tutorial mode, which will guide you through the basics of the game mechanics. From battling demons to using your skill and mastering your breathing techniques, this tutorial has got you covered. Moving on, let's talk about some of the NPCs you'll encounter in the game. Slash Strike and Dash Strike. This is the Howry Giver NPC. He will request that you collect red and green fabrics to craft a Howry. Once you have a Howry, you can customize its appearance using Robux. And of course, we can't forget about the shinobi tools for your prosthetic arm. These tools will give you a major advantage in combat, allowing you to take down even the toughest demons with ease. This is Loot, an NPC who will offer you a quest to battle his adversary and acquire the coveted loot item on your own. This is Say's shop is where you can find the latest fashion trends. Whether you're looking for stylish outfits, comfy pajamas, or trendy accessories, Say has got you covered. Here we have a food booth with an anime girl offering onigiri for 35 yen and soup for 60 yen. And now, let's introduce you to the Conductor NPC. This character can teleport you to various locations on the map for a small fee of 20 yen. This is the resting idol where you can set your spawn point and check your current stats. Here we have an double jump skill NPC. You will obtain double jump from him. Here is the final selection NPC. He explains that in order to become a demon slayer and earn a Nichiren sword, you must first survive the final selection. This involves killing 10 demons at night in a dangerous and challenging environment. We are back at Yohikawa Village. I realized I forgot to show you a couple of things here. First, there's an old Nichiren sword on display near the entrance of the village. Secondly, there's a beggar NPC who you can talk to for a unique dialogue experience. And speaking of unique experiences, one of the most interesting abilities in the game is called See Through World. To upgrade this ability, you'll need to meditate in special places using the J key on your keyboard. I'll be making a separate video to show you exactly how it works and how to level it up. We have three different gourds here, small, medium, and large, which can help you level up your breathing technique. Breaking a gourd will allow you to level up, 
and then you can move on to the bigger gourds for even more progress. Here we have a chef NPC who maybe can help you create potions, food, and other useful items using the ingredients you gather throughout the map. But first, you need to know where to find these ingredients. Let me show you the different locations on the map where you can gather them. Here we have an NPC that enhances your parry skills, granting you more blocks and dealing more block damage. Additionally, we have another NPC that grants you the ability to dash quickly like mine, called the Flash Step NPC. When you hit the M key on your keyboard, a menu will appear with three tabs, Shop, Party, and Settings. The Shop tab will display your stats and items available for purchase with Robux. The Party tab allows you to create a party and invite others to join. In the Settings tab, you can turn various options on or off, Here we are at one of the demon caves where you can encounter ultra demons who use powerful blood demon arts. These demons are expert blockers and can parry your attacks with ease, so defeating them requires a strategic approach. If you see black circles and dust being emitted from the demons, it means they are on their last bit of health and are about to be defeated. Here we have an NPC who offers a unique opportunity. For just 10 demon horns, he will provide you with an alloc key that can open the massive doors leading to the ancient demon alloc. Here we have three paths that lead to a labyrinth. If you want to reach alloc quickly, you should take the middle path as it is the fastest route. Here we have a dodge skill NPC.
here we have a grab skill NPC, and finally, here we have Muzan, the powerful demon who can turn you into a demon if you have negative karma and are a rogue slayer. Goodbye and see you soon.